Never mind. I take that back. Because being nervous and scared is a dead giveaway that you take yourself way too seriously. Which is definitely my tendency. And I hate it. I really hate it. I wish I could be one of those cool people who just... Just what? Has fun. I mean, that's what, that's what life's about, right? Having fun. The minute you start thinking ahead and putting all sorts of weird pressure on yourself, it's a big mistake. Right? Yeah. yeah I guess it is, yeah. Maybe it's you. Me? Making me uncool. What? No, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying you're not cool. I, <laughs> it's just like... I, I've, I've never been with anybody like you before. I mean, the, the other guys I've dated, you know, rockers, musicians, and that was easy for me. Because? I could come and go on a whim, less pressure, no guilt. But you're different. I mean, you have a real job and your own place and a family that you love. And this is a real date. I don't know how to act. Don't worry. I'll walk you through it. <laughs> I'm being really neurotic, huh? I like it. And don't worry about uh, acting at all. Just be yourself. Okay, I'll try. Uh, uh, come, sit. Um, clear place. <laughs> No, 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 don't touch that. Wow, well, this is a very public outing. Well, I'm very happy to see you, and I don't care who knows it. How was your board meeting? It was truly bizarre. Bo brought in this woman that Asa was married to during the time that he supposedly sired Jared. Who was that? Pamela Stewart. Oh my gosh. What is she, wife number five? And number two, depends how you look at it. <laughs> what happened? So instead of proving that Jared wasn't Asa's son, mm -hmm. Pamela blindsided everybody, including Bo, by claiming to be Jared's mother. Oh, poor Bo. What a bad day he's having. Yeah. Not on top of our announcement. Our announcement, yeah, I, th I thought Bo was okay with it. Oh, I don't think he likes the idea of us seeing each other at all. Well, I do appreciate uh, your concern for Lindsay's welfare, and I remember that you and I called a truce around Thanksgiving. But now I have to tell you that uh, if you're here to cause trouble, I will see to it that you never come within an inch of Lindsay again. <laughs> okay. We'll be in touch. No. <sighs> I'm going to walk you out. RJ. Yeah, for a minute there, I thought you were going to tell Bo the truth. I did. You should not be living here. That's not what I was talking about. I meant the truth about me faking it. I saw Bo's face when he walked in on us. He's going to be watching your every move. Now, how long do you think it'll be before he catches on to you? I can't seem to shut off my feelings for him, and from what I can tell, neither can he. So you're still lusting after your uncle, and he's got the hats for his knees. So gross, Roxy. Why do you have to put it like that? Well, how else am I gonna put it? Any way you put it, you got a big problem, baby. I know, I know. That's that's why I need your help. And you've come to the right place, baby. Because I know something that Miss Vicky doesn't. <laughs> Celebrate. Why is that? It's not like my proposal passed. Only two members of that board voted in approval of B.E. buying that vineyard. Then your reference to a win... Oh, yes. I outsmarted them. I finally proved I am a Buchanan through and through. <laughs> and I did it with Bo's own surprise guest. What a coup. And did Miss Natalie congratulate you? You know the answer to that. Yes, I suppose I do. And what about you? Unless trashing a room is your idea of expressing glee, I would say you're feeling less than triumphant. I don't like hurting her. Yeah. You made a choice, Jared. 
You chose money over love. And now I have neither. You could still go after the more important one, assuming you know which that is. What are you talking about? I have become increasingly uncomfortable with keeping this secret. If you don't tell the family the truth, I will.